Hey, good day, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Well, I've been uh, doing a lot of Facebook in the last few days, and I came across a discussion on the Antique Typewriters group about double striking characters. And this originally came about in the discussion talking about electronic typewriters, like daisy wheel typewriters, that can make a double struck effect on the uh, character, kind of make a a double character just to the right of it to make kind of a bolded effect or a special character effect. And then someone mentioned, uh, talked about maybe you could do that with a manual typewriter. So I started looking into this, started exploring this. Can you do double struck characters on a manual typewriter for special font effects? Stay tuned. Well, you might be aware that on manual typewriters, there are various ways in which the space bar works with the escapement and the platen. And uh, specifically, on some typewriters, when you press the space bar, the carriage moves like a half space, and then when you release it, it moves another half space. Uh, for instance, this a little Royal Mercury appears to do something like that. But there's other machines where it doesn't do that. Like, for instance, this Smith Corona Silent Super. When you press the space bar down, it moves one whole character, and then when you release it, it doesn't move anymore. So it does the entire spacing in the down press of the space bar. So there's this general knowledge out there that there are kind of two categories of typewriter. There are those that are full space machines and those that are half space machines. And the half space machines, like, for instance, your Olivetti uh, Letter of 22s, your Olivetti Underwood 21, Studio 44s, those kind of machines that are true half space machines gives you the ability to do things like inserting a extra character in between uh, a words that you might have missed a character, for instance, right? But there's a third category. It's, I don't know if it's an official designation or whatever, but I noticed on a number of my machines, uh, when you try the half spacing feature, like for instance this Triumph Norm 6, it does move the carriage slightly, but it's not a true half space. It's a little bit less than a half space. You might almost call it a third of a space. It's not exactly a third of a character or a third of a space, but it's less than half. The same thing with the Royal Mercury. It moves a little bit, like roughly a third when you press it down, and when you release it, it moves the other two-thirds or so to finish the, the full character spacing. Well, that's kind of cool. So various machines have this property. So what I was thinking you could do for this double struck effect is you could first of all type a character and then you could backspace and then press and hold the space bar and the carriage moves a slight amount and then hit the same strike the same character again. And I tried it here uh, yesterday with this Royal Mercury. So here you can see the Royal Mercury does make a really nice double struck effect. Uh, again, probably the best of all the typewriters in my collection that I've tried it. So next we'll go to the Hermes 3000 and it prints the double strike so close to the first one that it really ends up being a bolding effect rather than a double struck. And if you look at the width of the vertical lines versus the horizontal lines, you can see the vertical lines are truly bolder or thicker than the horizontals, in indicating there is a true double striking happening, but it's less than one line's width. Now third, we look at the Remington Quiet Rider, and it is really close to being a full space machine. There's just a little bit of uh, difference between the left side and the right side of these second characters. And so it's really not usable for this effect at all. And then we look at the Triumph Norm 6. And again, the Triumph Norm 6 does the double strike effect, but a little bit wider than the Royal Mercury, and as such, some of the characters, like the H, for instance, are just almost unreadable because they're a little bit too wide from the initial character. So I tried this same uh, effect on Kevin's new Voss typewriter, and hey, it looks really nice, especially with the purple ribbon. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? So some of these typewriters will do a really cool double-struck effect. And here's an example where I put it to good effect at the title of this little writing that I was doing. Doesn't that look cool? And also, down here, 
For instance, right here, I'm making a kind of an ad hoc paragraph break by indicating it with a double struck first letter of the next sentence. Well, so before you go out and say, well, heck, I'm going to go out and get myself a roll of mercury and I can do this cool double strike effect, I really suspect that this effect has something to do with the alignment of the individual machine. Like, for instance, the Hermes 3000 that I tested, it has this slight movement of the carriage when you first push the space bar down, and then it does almost all of the additional spacing when you release it. Well, that could just be an issue with wear or the alignment of the escapement mechanism in that particular example machine. The same could be true with the Royal Mercury. If you had another Royal Mercury, you might find it's different. So I think this uh, idea of what I was calling one-third spacing or something less than half spacing, it may not be a design feature. It may be more like just the way the individual machines happen to be aligned up and the wear that happens on them. So that's an interesting thing. It's hard to predict. Like if you went out and bought a machine, you wouldn't be able to tell ahead of time whether it would really do this or not. But what I do invite you guys to do is if you have a typewriter collection, bring some of your typewriters out and sit down and try to do this double strike effect. You can certainly tell without even typing just by pushing the space bar, watching the carriage and then releasing it and seeing how much it does. So it's an interesting idea, right? There's a, a third kind of a spacing and it's maybe an unofficial spacing, an ad hoc spacing that has to do with how your machine is lined up. But you can certainly create, if it has the right kind of spacing, you create these interesting font effects, double struck characters and, and a true bolding. Have you guys ever thought about this before? Do any of your the machines in your collection do a, this double striking effect or what I would call the one-third spacing on the down press of the space bar? Hey, why don't you go try it out and let me know what you find. It might be a fun thing to do. I think for my Royal Mercury, I'm certainly going to be using it to make titles and headers. So, hey, drop a note down below. What do you think about this? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Okay, guys, stay safe, stay well, stay creative, and have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye.